2.8.29, our function here is g of t equals to 1 minus 2t over 3 plus t. We are going to use the definition of derivative, which we once again, it's a limit when h approaching to 0, g of t plus h minus g of t over h. And let's look at the ingredient. We know that the function is g of t equals to 1 minus 2t over 3 plus t. We also need to figure out what's g of t plus h. And to do that, we can just plug in t plus h into all these t's right here. And we are going to get g of t plus h equals to 1 minus 2. Open the parentheses, plug in the t plus h here, over 3 plus t plus h in the parentheses. Right? And here we can just simplify a little bit by distributing the negative 2 into the parentheses here and take out the parentheses on the denominator right here. And we get this. 1 minus 2t minus 2h after we distribute it over 3 plus t plus h. This right here is for g of t plus h. And what we are going to do is plugging this into g of t plus h and plugging this into here. And we are going to get this expression. The limit when h approaching to 0, this is g of t plus h that we got from here. And this is the, our original function, g of t, all over h. All right. We have a complex fraction. And the way to deal with complex fraction is multiply the top and bottom by the LCD. The denominators that we have is just this and that. That's all we need to multiply. I'm going to multiply with 3 plus t plus h, parentheses, and also 3 plus t. Do the on the top and also do it on the bottom. 3 plus t plus h, parentheses, 3 plus t like that. All right? And now for my next line, what I'm going to do is skip some uh, space right here. This is equal to and copy down the limit when h approaches to 0. The reason we multiply by the LCD is because we want to fix the top. So we are going to multiply out the top. We will leave the denominator the same. So let me just copy this down. We have h, parentheses, 3 plus t plus h, and 3 plus t afterward. On the top, I'm going to take this and distribute to the first term. Then the denominator here will cancel with this. So I will get 1 minus 2t minus 2h, the top right here, multiply with 3 plus t like that. And for the second part, I'm going to take this distributing to the second part right here as well. It's going to be minus 1 minus 2t. And this and that cancels. So I have to multiply 1 minus 2t with that. 3 plus t plus h, like all this, right? Once again, we have to do a lot of algebra. You have to have math algebra skills to do all this. All right, so for this part, I'm going to just multiply out, foil out everything, and then combine terms on the top, right? So I'll take 1 times 3, which is 3. 1 times t is just plus t. I'll take negative 2t times 3, which will give us negative 6t. Negative 2t times positive t is minus 2t squared. Negative 2h times 3 is minus 6h. Minus 2t, I mean minus 2h times t is minus 2th, like that. I'm going to subtract the second part. And the second part is going to be well, let's open the parentheses, right? 1 times 3 is equal to 3. 1 times this is plus t. 1 times h is just plus h. And then take negative 2t times 3, we get minus 6t. Negative 2t times positive t is minus 2t squared. And minus 2t times h is minus 2th, like that. We do have a negative, and you know, we have to distribute the negative into these parentheses. I will do that right here. So this is going to be minus 3 minus t, 
right? And then minus h plus 60, I'm pretty much just changing the sign. And then here this is going to be plus 2t squared and plus 2th, like that. So far so good. And hopefully we have a lot of things to cancel and we do have a lot of things to cancel. Let me use blue for the first time. I see I have a positive 3 right here that will get rid of this negative 3. And this is positive t that cancel out with this negative t. And I have the negative 6t cancels out with this positive 6t. Negative 2t squared, this will cancel out with this positive 2t squared. And also this part, negative 2th, this one and the positive 2th will cancel out each other as well. And take a look, here we have negative 6h and I also have a negative h right here. Altogether, I have only negative 7h on the top left, right? And now, this h can be canceled out with the h on the denominator, just like that. So, altogether, I only have a negative 7 on the top. And especially now, we have something canceled on the top and bottom. I'm going to plug in 0 into the h. Negative 7 on the top. Over on the denominator, I will have 3 plus t plus h. It's approaching to 0, so I'm just going to plug in 0 into h. So it's going to be like this, plus 0. And I'll continue with my rest. Parentheses, the second part is 3 plus t like that. And altogether, this is going to be negative 7 on the top over 3 plus t times 3 plus t. So we can write them as 3 plus t raised to the second power. And this is a derivative that we want by using the definition of derivative.